welcome back to another episode on Behold Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an arcade game that never made a port home. But thanks to the brilliant users over time, the game was ported over straight to the Sega's Dreamcast, bringing life back to the once and still below Sega's last stand with Dolphin Blue. A while back in early 2000s, Sammy's Atomic Wave arcade board was created to compete in the arcade market and use the Naomi board license from Sega as a starting block in creating more games in the arcade scene. SNK was one of their huge supporters as their own arcade Neo Geo was fading quickly. SNK brought awesome games to the Atomic Wave arcade board with franchise names like Samurai Showdown, Metal Gear, and of course, Battle Coliseum. Metal Slug redefined shoot 'em ups in the arcade with fantastic 2D sprite animation and absolutely insane action, explosions, and chaos on screen for the player. The success took the genre with many different clones and actual ports of the Sega Saturn, Sony PlayStation, and of course the Neo Geo that started it all. The one clone that really opened my eyes was Sammy's answer to SNK's incredible shooter with Dolphin Blue. Dolphin Blue was developed and released by Sammy Corporation in 2003 for the arcade. The shoot 'em up has players ride dolphins and destroy fleets of enemies and submarines in order to save the world from evil. Simple plot and the real fun comes with its two player co-op that starts you off with a variety of different weapons and also instant kill moves when you get close to an enemy. With bombs and extreme firepower you will also be asked to ride a dolphin from time to time in the underwater levels in different portions of the game. Extremely easy to pick up and play, the game is hard and I mean arcade hard. That means that they want you to spend your money. So one hit kills are normal but really pushes your limits the further you play into the game. The game is short for an hour playthrough and is really fun with a friend. The visuals feature a nice mix of 2D sprites based on characters and enemies on 3D backgrounds and objects throughout the game. Due to the technology and heavy RAM on the board, the detail and animation is much higher than your regular 32-bit 2D side-scrollers and definitely is a huge step up. The game was never ported to home consoles until recently when programmers online found a way to port the Thomas Williams arcade board to the Dreamcast since the core is a Naomi board which is basically a Dreamcast. Biggest con here is the amount of RAM added to the Thomas Wave, but much more than a Dreamcast had, which means longer load times. Even though, with some limitations, the ports of the Thomas Wave kept coming to the Dreamcast, including Dolphin Blue. I really would highly recommend playing the game via DDEMU, as it loads much faster than the CDI disc, which can take upwards to 5 minutes of wait time compared to under just 10 seconds. Other than that, get ready for fun and stress-releasing arcade goodness that can be played with a friend. So glad the retro gaming community keeps surprising day after day, bringing my Dreamcast back to life with more than 10 games more to play. Dolphin Blue is a must-play for those who love retro action shoot 'em ups from Contra to Metal Slug and now Dolphin Blue. That's it for me on this look at Dolphin Blue on the Sega Dreamcast. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.